Hello everyone, good afternoon, especially to you Ma'am Jona Diaz. Today I am going to discuss about the role of the youth in disaster preparedness. I am Micaela Michez Viva from BSN12 and this is my report. What is disaster preparedness? Disaster preparedness consists of a set of measures undertaken by governments, organizations, communities, or individuals to better respond and cope with the immediate aftermath of a disaster, whether it be human-made or caused by natural hazards, and the objective is to reduce the loss of life and livelihoods. Preparing for disasters saves countless lives, speeds up life, of people's recovery and saves money. Prevention, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery are the five steps of emergency management. Why is this important? With increasing population growth, rapid and unplanned urbanization, climate change, environmental degradation, and widespread poverty, a growing number of people and assets are exposed to disasters. Moreover, many of these events occur in fragile conflict-affected states, thus increasing the complexity of crisis and overburdening countries experiencing violent conflict or fragile governance. What is the role of the youth in disaster preparedness? Youth can play an important role in disaster preparedness and recovery. Involving youth in disaster planning and recovery can increase their awareness of hazardous situations that may occur in their neighborhood and teach them how to respond in various types of emergency. Being prepared can reduce fear, anxiety, and losses that accompany disasters. Communities, families, and individuals should know what to do in the event of fire and where to seek shelter during a powerful storm. By involving youth in disaster preparedness and recovery efforts, youth serving agencies can help to not only increase youth awareness of particular hazard but can also enhance the chance that they openly discuss how to adequately protect their families and loved ones and understand how to seek help should their community be affected so by the means of the disaster preparedness if the youth are aware of what is happening he or she will have an idea to how to protect his or her family during such disasters. What can the youth contribute in disaster preparedness? The youth can also contribute ideas and actions during disasters. By involving youth in disaster planning and management, they will be better equipped to respond appropriately and calmly when confronted with an actual event like sharing the message. Youth can help share the message of disaster preparedness. So nowadays, we have youth uses gadgets. They can um, give message to other people through communication, through the use of the internet. Acting as change makers. Youth can act as change makers by sharing information they learned in youth preparedness programs and helping parents and communities to prepare for disaster. For example, by developing a disaster plan or disaster preparation kit. So, if some youth do not have any um, learnings about how to prevent or how to, um, be how to become safe when there is a disaster, um, some youth who, who are aware on how to protect themselves during a disaster can help them and give them ideas to save their lives during such a disaster. Bringing creativity. One, two, three. Bringing creativity. Youth can bring creative and resourceful ideas to disaster preparedness efforts. What can we give? As the youth, 
donate food or other items, check with the local Red Cross chapter, community center, or place of worship to find out what they need. If there is a disaster, of course, they will going to evacuate in church or in an evacuation center. If you are the best thing is to donate food or other items such as clothes, shoes, or blankets that they need during such disaster. Donate your time. Offer to help sort through donations or deliver goods to families affected by the disasters. Organize a fundraiser. Organize a fundraiser. Fundraising event, also called a fundraiser, is an event or campaign whose primary purpose is to raise money for a cause, charity to give help to those who are affected by disasters. Why does it matter? Volunteering your time, money, or efforts can help your community and others in a time of need. It's also a way to teach your loved ones to value giving. Times you spend helping others, especially as a family, are times our loved ones will always remember. It's meaningful and helps you feel close. Giving and helping deepen positive emotions like compassion and gratitude. These emotions feel good and they do us good too. They build coping skills that lowers our stress response and support our mental well-being and that's good for everyone. We cannot stop natural disasters but we can arm ourselves with knowledge. So many lives wouldn't have to be lost if there was enough disaster preparedness by Petra Nimkova. Thank you so much for listening and that would be all.